What's going on guys, it's Spooky, and today we're doing another tutorial. This time it's on pumps and shake. So similarly to the last tutorial, I'm editing in 24 FPS once again. That will not change. Now for my pumps, I use blur mo curves. So that's what I'll be doing. Shutter duration at 0.25 and make these reflect. Now, for my pumps, very easy to do. Um, I have already set the markers up on every beat. So, this song has about six beats. This is just when it starts. So, I'll put a keyframe here. Gonna make the Z dist 0.7. That'll be the spot of impact. Now, I'm gonna go back three frames, then add a keyframe, make it one, then I'm gonna go one frame, make it 0.98, then I'm gonna go another frame and make it 0.9. And this is a full pump. And now I'm gonna restore it. So make it a fast fade. And I'm gonna copy all of these, so you just use your mouse, hold and drag, make sure all the keyframes are highlighted, then you can copy it, go to your next marker, go back three frames, add a keyframe, right click, and paste. Then I'll do the same thing for each of these, but for this one, I'm gonna make it a little different. So we're gonna paste it. I'm gonna do something I call a reverse pump. So I'm gonna make the point of impact 1.3. Just to add some variety, I'm gonna make this 1.02. And I'm gonna make this 1.1. So I'll show you what that looks like. Now I'm going to copy these keyframes. And there we go, the pumps are done. Now for my shake. Each clip doesn't necessarily need shake. Shake should only be added to add more impact on your clip. So if your clip already has enough impact from your pumps or the effects you use, you don't necessarily have to add shake. But since this song has a lot of heavy beats, I'm going to add it. And I will show myself making the preset. So frequency shouldn't range that high because if it's high then it just won't look good. I'm going to turn on motion blur, make it really low, because a lot of motion blur can ruin your edit. Now I don't use X shake that much, but I make it really low, just so it's a tiny bit noticeable. Y shake is what I use the most. I usually make these like... I'm going to make this 0 0.03, and I'll make this 0 0.05, along with the frequency at 1. Z shake, I don't ever mess with, and tilt shake. Now, I'm going to leave tilt shake at 0, because I'm going to add another shake that has tilt on it, just tilt. The reason why I would add two shakes is to have more control on my edit, so later I'll add another shake with tilt and I'll animate it the same way. So I'm gonna have my amplitude at 0.5 because I just want a nice subtle shake for a bit more impact. Now shake should typically be linear. I'm not gonna fast fade it, I'm not gonna slow fade it. So for each beat, I'm just gonna add a keyframe, go back one frame and make it zero. 
I'll do this for each beat. Now that's done. For these long intervals where there's no beats, I like to make it a fast fade, just so it restores nicer. Now, I'm not an expert with Shake, but I personally think this looks okay. I'll play it again. Now, if you want, you can add another shake and just make it tilt. So, I'm gonna do the same thing I did here. So for X, I turn it off. For Y, I turn it off. And for tilt, I'm gonna make this 3. Or 3. I'll make this 1. Then, I'm gonna animate it the same way. And there we go, that's done. And that's pretty much it. See ya.